Hey guys, I'm doing another update for you on the pedal all-wheel drive three. And um, besides so obviously adding a second battery, which was in another video, I updated the crank because it's just impossible to pedal. Um, I went with a 58 tooth chain ring. The cranks came with it, the pedals I swapped. This was the original one. I mean, you could pretty much tell the size difference is significant on it. And the key to it is you really need to go with a smaller um, freewheel. So this is this smallest one is a 16 tooth on the, this is your lowest gear. And I went from 16 tooth to an 11 by 28 tooth. Now the reason why it has all the gears on it and everybody knows this is a three year bike, but I'm not using these gears. I'm just using one, two, and three. And it, most of the time it's in the lowest gear. And now the pedal assist is insane. It's actually, this is the way the bike should have been from the factory. I might even show them this and email them to them and explain to them that, I mean, you could pedal this in, in level five now. And it saves you a ton on the battery and you really enjoy the bike and pedal assist now. Um, I'm going to be putting links in the description. Just bear with me because I'm new to all this um, of where I got the crank and the freewheel uh, from. I actually got them on Amazon. I'll try and get them in the description for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask how I got the freewheel off and the crank is self-explanatory by a crank puller. It's really easy. If you're pretty handy, um, it should be relatively easy for you to do. It took me no more than an hour. And what was nice about it, I used the original chain because when you're going, you thought that when you were going with the larger sprocket that your train, you know, I seen people do it and the derailleur is all the way forward and a chain's not fitting right. But, but since I went to such a small gear in the back on the freewheel, it actually worked perfect. I didn't have to change the chain. That was a plus. So by adding the second battery and adding this, I mean, this thing is a grizzly killer now, man. It's a monster. I mean, the grizzly, don't get me wrong, grizzly's a great bike. I didn't want to wait months at a time. This is a fairly new e-bike that came out um, that they upgraded to the 1,000 watt motors, and it's basically the same bike as the, um, as the grizzly. Believe it or not, it looks like the D-Class that they discontinued, and I just like the way this bike looks a lot better. It came with the rack. So even though this was like $200 more than the Grizzly and you do get the second battery with the Grizzly, um, I felt you really don't have to mod, you know, I would have to mod the seat on the Grizzly and model the cranks. And you know what, it all comes out to be the same price, give or take a few hundred dollars here or there. So now I got the 52 watt battery with the battery combiner under the seat and the original battery and the cranks. And this thing is just set to go. Um, you have any questions feel free to um reach out to me and i'll try and respond as fast as i can all right guys have a great one